All right, so I uh, gave it a G-Shock to enable auto launch and took a couple steps and gave it a good and hard throw and it climbs away at a programmed 10 degree angle at 85% throttle. Looks like it's actually at 83% throttle. That's the term in the bottom right. Um, the motor should really have a four cell pack, but I'm using a three cell pack because that's my largest battery. Um, the motor can only handle about 20 or 22 amps, which means I need to limit the throttle on takeoff while the battery is fully charged. But later, like say 205 minutes into the flight, uh, the airplane needs access to 100% power to make sure that it can maintain altitude and deal with the uh, lower voltage from the battery. So here's a shot from the ground, shot by my friend Andre. Here's the 300 minute mark, so that's five hours, and uh, I'm waiting for it to come loop around a little bit further. Oh, that's the Air Force Museum, by the way. For it to loop around to the downwind side, and you'll see me take over manual control and do a controlled crash into the grass. Uh, I'll tell you what the terms are on the OSD now. Top left number of GPS satellites, then you have wind speed, air speed, ground speed, direction and distance to home, flight mode, which is return to look launch which you just saw me change to manual top right we have milliampere hours consumed then we have current being pulled from the battery battery voltage altitude and number of miles across the ground and like I said earlier the bottom right term is uh, throttle setting and of course top middle is the number of flying minutes and uh, as you saw at the beginning that automatically started as soon as I threw the airplane and it's going to stop as soon as uh, it detects that there's no more motion. Yeah, I got the ground speed down to about 18 miles per hour before I hit the ground. That headwind uh, certainly helped, and uh, the airplane was all fine. Uh, in theory, I could put another battery in it and get another five hours out of it, which is pretty crazy. So here's what the plane looks like from the outside. Uh, I love the design of the Talon but the nose with that clear plastic cover is less than ideal so I just cut that off and made two of my own nose cones uh, you can see the one that I had on was just an FPV camera the one on the ground there um, has room for a GoPro which is pretty cool so I love these cameras I highly recommend them um, I tested both NTSC mode and PAL mode and the image is so much better in PAL mode so I, I do suggest these cameras, especially for the price, and I do suggest that you try both camera modes. Power cycle everything once you change the switch, of course. Um, okay, so I guess the key to this five-hour flight is that big battery that you see in the grass. Yep, that one. Uh, it is a 45-amp-hour three-cell pack made out of Samsung 50E cells. Now, lithium-ion um, is really really interesting because it can't supply as much current as lipo can so it's not as powerful as in energy per time but it has way 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 higher gravitometric energy density which means how many milliampere hours you can store per kilogram it's approximately 80 percent more energy for the same battery weight so obviously that contributed significantly to the endurance of the airplane Okay, so uh, I used a 12 by 12 APC propeller connected to a 700 kV motor with a 30 amp speed controller. It's really important that the speed controller um, does not have a low voltage cutoff, or if it does, you have it disabled because lithium ion cells discharge safely to a lower voltage than lipo cells. And may take a 405 flight control board in there um, GPS is a little BN 220 and the receiver is a XM plus oh and of course you can see there that the uh, video transmitter is a TS 832s um, 600 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz uh, circular polarized antenna on top yeah I guess that's it and then the last shot is I'll show you the belly of the aircraft um, since I shortened the nose, um, which means that there's less lateral area in front of the center of mass, that allowed me to remove the bottom fin, 
which normally acts like a stabilizer and is very useful, um, I'm able to remove it since I shorten the nose.